Kill Team Hive Storm is an introductory box for the new edition of Kill Team. It is incredibly heavy, it is almost 4 kilos, and it is filled with all sorts of really cool stuff. Let's take a look really quickly. Not only do they offer us here two kill teams, full kill teams with 11 minis each, Tempestus Aquilon, Vespid Stingwing, they also offer us a bunch of terrain, kill zone Volcus. Let's take a look what's inside. I'm gonna really carefully try to open the box. The box is humongous. As I said, it is almost four kilos. This is easily the heaviest box I have ever seen, released by Games Workshop. And here we have a lot of plastic, guys. This is gonna be lovely. Okay, let's take a look. First things first, this looks like a sprue for, for the Vespids. Okay, let's see how we're gonna do this. I'm, I'm just gonna move this aside a bit. So you can actually see what's, what is, <laughs> what is here really. Okay, so these are clearly Vespid body parts and their weapons. Some sort of heads look really, really funky. Uh, yeah, so the Vespids are probably not the team, the kill team I'm gonna be assembling. This is the second kill team sprue. This is the sprue for Tempestus Aquilon, and I think these are just the bodies with uh, no jump packs. Jump packs are on a separate sprue. So you can see it's a bunch of heads over here and whatnot. So this is the Tempestus, guys. Third sprue is here. This is the sprue with the jump packs and the. Uh, other body parts. Actually, there is uh, at least one guy over here. Uh, this is very interesting. Okay. Fourth sprue is all about the wings. These are the wings of the and the heads. They actually have a bunch of heads, and I really like they have like at least two heads that <laughs> wear some sort of Tau looking helmets. So it's not just the insectoids. Heads over here, it's also some fancy heads. Alright, this looks vaguely familiar. This is the ruins. I think this are might this might be the same kind of ruins they put into some other boxes. I'm not entirely sure if these are unique or not. But uh, they look quite Quite interesting and sturdy. They actually are very thick too. That is why it's probably so heavy. This wall is incredibly thick. It's uh, very, very uh, heavy, this, this particular sprue. Looking really cool. Look at this rubble. Pile of rubble over here. This is the third sprue of the terrain. Very, very fancy. Very, very nice looking. I'm really thrilled to be building them. This is the fourth one. Really nice. They have all sorts of details and you can go as, as fancy as you want trying to paint them. Another one over here. I think they might be uh, repeating themselves, but I am not entirely sure. So far they actually look unique to me all this terrain sprue. So this is terrain sprue number what? Number four, number five. And they also have some sort of additional smaller pieces here, like these boxes, ammo boxes. I think we're gonna see more of them further on. This is number six, also very, very nice looking. This is a Adaptus Mechanicus a symbology over here. So you can say that there is some sort of a Huge Adaptus Mechanicus guns are happening in this in this uh, box, and these are okay. So this thing is used for measuring the distances. I think it's an in inches, and uh, the rest of this is pretty much barbed wire over here and over here. Some sort of like a small grenade, and uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of. A lot of really, really funny looking things here, some sort of like uh, fences and whatnot, and this looks like a Vox unit or, or I don't even know what it is. 
All right. So it is a lot of plastic, guys. This is a huge pile of plastic, just so you know. It's humongous. This pile of plastic is is just is just enormous. Anyways, we're moving forward. There is a thing over here. Wow, with a sticker of some sort. And I think this is I think these are exactly these are these things. Wow. Wow. All right. All right. So this is the actual board where things are happening and it is fairly large. It is actually very, very large. So this is the whole whole board. I think it's exactly of the size that is necessary for, for the game. And it has a bunch of uh, painted rubble here. So with more terrain on top of it, it's going to look incredibly cool. Uh, this also contributes to the weight of this thing. I'm going to put it aside moving forward. So we have more things over here. I think we, we can start with this. This usually contains books and all sorts of goodness. Let's take a look. You can see the Aquilons and the Vespids are here. Yes. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at this. All right. Wow. Okay. Okay. So we have a carton thing to put things in place some really nice art i'm really enjoying this art guys and what do we have here let's let's take a look let's start with this small thing approved ops card pack approved ops card pack is a deck of 36 cards and three fold out leaflets it has a bunch of step cards Tech op cards, crit op cards, kill op card. I have no idea what these cards are, but let's take a look at them. I have no idea how to use it. To be honest, I am in this box only for the Aquilons. And I, as I think is the vast majority of people who purchase this. <laughs> okay, this is a fold out. Let's let's go with it. This is a PvP mission pack for head-to-head -head gameplay. It's ideal for players who want the most balanced, up-to-date, and in-depth version of Kill Team. They explain us how to set up the battle, how to select operatives. This is pretty much like the overview of the, of the rules, high-level overview of the game. Kill Team Volkus. Okay, Kill Zone, sorry, Volkus. This is probably all about setting up setting up the game this is how it looks these are the ruins presumably these are probably where where objectives are or something like that and this is a kill zone gallow dark remember gallow dark it's still present here and apparently it's still supported very 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 interesting so kill zone gallow dark also a bunch of a uh, bunch of a uh, space hulk kind of things here all right uh, let's take a look this is the second foldouts there is a third one kill zone betha decima remember the betha decima kill zone the one that we were opening recently it is still here it is still supported so you can still play the old ones of course you will need all sorts of terrain for that but uh, nevertheless, non-specific kill zone maps. So these are the ones I think without any sort of uh, uh, additional terrain. So you can play poor man's kind of kills, kill team, kill zone. Betha Decima is supported. Okay, really, really, really cool. So we, we've got Volkus, Betha Decima, Gallo Dark, and uh, kind of a stuff with no nothing. Let's really quickly swap through the cards. Game sequence. They explain the game sequence. Okay. Scouting step. Scouting step ploy. Equip ploy. Reposition. No idea what these are. Kill zone, Bethadecima, map key. Mm hmm. 
thermometric condenser. I really like to have this kind of terrain. We'll try to probably try probably to get it. Okay, universal map key. So this is how to use how to read the map. Killzone Volcus map key. Stronghold, large ruin. Look at how beautiful these are. They are amazing. I, I, I'm really looking into building them. Okay, Volcus. Another Volcus. Small ruin, heavy rubble, light rubble. Okay. Kill op. Whatever this is. Create op. Primary op. Uh, okay. Okay. Tech op. Tech op. These cards are probably used for something. Create op secure. Create op loot. I like the way it sounds. I'm all about looting. Transmission. Upload. Intel. Also sounds good. Extraction. Even better. Sabotage. Splendid. Power surge. Coordinates. Confirm kill. Recover item. Plant beacons. Seek and destroy. Overrun. Storm objectives. Champion. Contain, take ground, secure center, surveillance, implant, wiretap. Okay, so these are presumably, presumably the objectives of the game, and uh, you probably can randomly pull them from a deck. This is a core book. As you can see, it is not in hard binding. Tactical skirmish combat and the grim darkness of the far future. Let's just take a cursory look at what is here. So it's a bunch of a bunch of things. Maybe we make a separate video just with this book. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like to, to have it. Again, they explain us what the ruins are, how this is all supposed to work what kind of terrain types are here, and uh, so on and so forth. This is how to play. Really cool art. I really like how it looks, the rules. Some sort of uh, additional information. Galaxy at War, Dark Imperium. Here they tell us about the hobby. And this is the core book. I'm gonna put it here. After the core book, we have Hive Storm Dossier. Rules for wielding Vespid, Stingwing, and Tempestus Aquilon kill teams. Included are data cards and a host of other rules for each team. Mm -mm -mm. Introduction to the scarred industrial planet of Volcus. The kill teams doing battle on the surface and the mighty cannon that washes over the embattled world. A showcase of minis. Okay. This is... This is pretty much what we have here. This is some piece of really cool art. The weapon world. Dragon's Fang. Void Flame Team, Tempestus Aquilons, mm -hmm. some sort of color options you can use, different, different Tempestus Aquilons, they are really cool looking guys, and uh, this is one of the main reasons I bought the box, the small mini over here, <laughs> it's amazing. Sentry, sent the uh, servo sentry, they call it uh, sentry gun. All right, some fluff, Vespid sting wings. Uh, so these are the Tau guys, Semi's auxiliary, really nice looking images over here. These are different color schemes for the Vespids, Vespid sting wing operatives, kill team rules. Look at this art. Look at this art. This art is 
awesome. Okay, they explain us what their Aquilons are. Have a bunch of specialists, of course, and the uh, usual guys. They have uh, data cards here. Faction equipment. And then we have Vespid Stingwing kill team. Also a bunch of specialists and a bunch of warriors. Not sure if I'm gonna be building those guys. But we shall see, maybe maybe they are funny. And um, another another piece of art. I really like this. This is this is so cool, guys. Mission packs again, explaining what the rubble is about. Some sort of uh, maps. Some sort of uh, missions. Three A, three B, airborne siege. Secure extraction sites, universal equipments. The following equipment options are available to all kill teams alongside their faction equipment. You cannot select each option more than once per battle, so these things you can use. Interesting. Portable barricades, heavy barricades, ladders, you name it. Com device. Lovely. This. This is lovely, guys. This is lovely. Hive Storm dossier. Moving forward, these are the most important. This is the most important part of a of a box for me. This is how do we build the minis. We have a bunch of stuff over here. Bunch of spruce. Actually, all of them are unique, as you can see. Yeah, this is what we thought. All the sprues are pretty much unique. No repetitions, which is really, really, really cool. Here they explain us what kind of weapons can be built. Bunch of specialists, of course. We're gonna be building these Aquilons really soon, guys. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel, not to miss it. These are the Aquilons uh, with the jump packs. A bunch of them here. Really, really, really cool. This is how they look when they are painted. It's only seven of them, but I think you can build kind of 11. I think on the box they say 11 or something. And these are the Vespids. These are the Vespids, bunch of Vespids. Also uh, really cool looking minis. Not my cup of tea, but they're quite cool. And by the way they look, they actually should be not that hard to build. It's not that many parts that are involved, seemingly. But we shall see. Well, these are the ruins. This is the arguably the coolest part of this box, after the Aquilons, for me, personally. The ruins. This is how you build the ruins. Really, really, really nice. Really, really cool. The ruins are amazing. Yeah, and these are the painted ones. These ones are the major ones, and the rest is just a rubble of some sort. And of course, measuring gorgeous over here. All right, this is the instructions, the assembly instructions. And we have a bunch of tokens. So these tokens are being used for marking stuff. I have really no idea what they are about, but this one seems to be for the Vespids, and this one seems to be for, or maybe I'm actually mistaken, maybe they are being used interchangeably. All right, and they also have the gorgeous here. Push out things. Okay, we still have a couple of things in the box. We have some bases, which are Pretty much all the bases that are being used here. Of course, different sizes. And I think that is pretty much it. I have no idea what this is. Oh yeah, these are the dice. Kill team white dice. I'm not gonna open them. They're just they're just dice. I can I can feel those are the dice. Just gonna put them put them back into the box. 
And here we have it, my friends. This is the Kill Team Hive Storm box. New edition of Kill Team. I'm pretty sure there will be another hardback core book that is gonna contain all the rules and everything. But presumably that should be enough for you to start playing. I'm really thrilled about the minis in this box. And I'm really thrilled about the terrain. The terrain looks incredibly cool. I'm gonna be building the terrain for sure. I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna be building the Vespids. They kinda, kinda look cool. They are definitely updated version of Vespids. Because uh, the Vespids has been there for a while now. And they have not been updated uh, since I think they were introduced several years ago. But uh, nevertheless, they are now updated. I'm pretty sure they will get their rules in Warhammer 40k, not only in Kill Team. And uh, yeah, I think this overall is a really cool box. It also has a really good value as long as you are going to use pretty much everything. But uh, if you're gonna just be using the, um, one of the kill teams or you want to have some, some bits of terrain but not everything, maybe you will have better luck purchasing them secondhand on the internet. That is pretty much it for today, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this box. Do you like Kill Team? Do you think Kill Team is a really good way to get cool minis for Warhammer 40k games? I definitely think it is. But let me know what do you think. And uh, yeah, in order to stay in touch, please like and subscribe to the channel. Click that bell button to get notified about further videos. We have a bunch of them coming up soon. And that is gonna be all for today, my friends. Max is out. Take care. Bye.